as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it's windy out here. We're hunkered down. It's storm season here in the Tampa Bay area. And as you can see, things are getting pretty hairy in the studio. But tonight's Tampa Native show will go on nonetheless because just like the mail being delivered, the show must go on. So hunker down if you must. Make sure that you've got your provisions ready because the Tampa Native Show starts right now. Jeff, get me out of here. Hunker down. Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. Stay tuned now for the fastest 60 minutes in cable broadcast history. Live from the studios at TBCN, the home of the Tampa Native Show. Join your hosts, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella as they celebrate growing up in Tampa. From Shock Armstrong to Shakey's Pizza, from Braddock Street to Buffalo Avenue, get ready to call in and tell us your stories because sharing your memories has never been this much fun. And now, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella. She remembers me. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to this, the Tampa Native Show. One thing for sure, there is no shortage of entertainment here on the set of the Tampa Native Show. And as you can see, the wind is still howling outside. We're inside in safe quarters. My name is Mario Nunez. I'm seated alongside my broadcast partners. Steve Canella. A.K.A. Tampa Steve. And to his left. Sally Nunez. Also known as. The 15 Minute Girl. Well, we're coming to you live from the studios of Tampa Bay Community Network. And to be honest with you, we're happy to be here. It's just, here comes another Thursday. Man, these Thursdays keep coming around. They sure do. Pretty Faster quick. and faster and faster. We had an action-packed weekend. Mm -hmm. The shop that you see there behind us. Uh, was taken this past weekend at the Cuban Sandwich Festival, mm -hmm. Centennial Park. That, that photograph there, courtesy of Mr. Tony Scaglioni. Mm -hmm. Tony, so, thank you so much thank for you. allowing us the use of that wonderful photograph. Steve, let's talk a little bit about the Cuban Sandwich Festival. Well, we saw, we came, yeah. we saw, and we conquered. And we <laughs> ate. And boy, did and Steve we, eat. Oh, I ate uh, 40 sandwiches. I had a sample. <laughs> Cuban sandwiches. Now, I didn't eat every single one. Thank yeah, you. let's be honest about that now, but, Steve. Uh, I took two or three bites out of each one. So yes, that's, he did. What's that, about 120 bites? Well, but all I, I know is I, about halfway through the event, I told him, I said, Stevie, don't drink any water, brother, because <laughs> yeah. if that up. water hits that Cuban bread in your system, you're going to be done. And true to form, Steve, for about the next 48 hours after that event, was oh. having a real difficult time of it at home. Oh, I slept. I slept till like... 10 or 11 that morning. I took a nap later in the afternoon. I think it just overwhelmed my whole system, yeah. you know, and just wasn't used to that. I'm, I'm, a, we, I'm a light eater anyway. If we had been on our game, meat. we would have brought yeah. digestive yeah. enzymes for everybody because they were surely needed. Yeah. But it was fun. It was a great oh, time. I had a great time. Hot, Listen, really I, I've got hot. some notes here that I'm going to go over real mm -hmm. quick. And if I forget anything, Stevie, 15 minute girl, you correct me. We, we want to say hello to uh, Larry Cotton from WFLA. Larry's Good Eats. We had a chance to meet Larry. What a nice, what a nice guy and a great time we had. Larry was right there with Steve in sampling all the sandwiches. And I tell you what, one by one, man, they, they went around the table and around the table they went until they finished. And when they, seriously, too. When they, we saw an ambulance coming by at one point. We didn't know what was going Thought on. Thought it was me, didn't you? Thank goodness neither Larry nor Steve had to be carted off. <laughs> great big shout out to Franco Silva from WMNF. Uh, Latino 54, we saw Mr. Philip Cacciatore there and his wife Noreen and the boys Dominic and Lucas. 
Hi, Dominic, Lucas, and Noreen, the Cacciatore brothers. That's one of our sponsors here. Yes, if you want to bring up the three shot, that's fine, because as, as I'm saying hello to everybody, my two comrades here can be waving. Hey, Look at those leaves. I love that. It's kind of fall like <laughs> here. Uh, Mary Spoto and her son, Nate. Nate, who's going to the game with us they on sure the 30th is. of June. I took Hi, guys. We, we met Audrey Perez, uh, Fran Costantino's cousin. Very Audrey, very sweet, sweet lady. Thank you so much. Again, Tony Scaglioni, thank you, Tony. And courtesy of the introduction was courtesy of Councilman Mike Suarez. Yes. Thank you for introducing me, Mike. We saw Angelo Ramori. We sure Steve, did. And we also saw Rudy Hernandez. Yes. And I feel like I sound like uh, Miss Romper Room now. And I know. Where's Angelo? Angelo? Good DB. And DB? Councilman <laughs> Harry Cohen was there as well. Also, who else did we saw? We saw Alan. Antonori and Dory Oh, Rutelman. yeah, Dory. Hi, guys. And we saw Jim Hooper, who stopped by. Jim Hooper, who should be with us here today in studio, but he's home uh, uh, convalescing, recuperating, mm -hmm. if you will. He had a little bit of uh, little oral surgery. He had some oral surgery today. So, Jimmy, get be better, fun. man. We look for you next week. As well, Mark Fisher is, is also at home tending to some business. But it was quite, quite a weekend. Um, yes, it was. Thank you to everybody who participated. We had a, a grand time, and congratulations to... Faedo's on the run for winning the best on the original. Go. Yes, we have to Faedo's check out that. on the go. It depends, Thank on, how, you, depends yeah. on how fast you yeah, are. Yeah, you're going you're and you're running and you're you going. You have to run to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> because they, uh, they won for the best original Cuban sandwich, and that was yeah. pretty, pretty cool. Um, this weekend, we've got a, a photo shoot coming up. We want to mention, uh, we met today with Pepito of Pepito's Masterpiece Portraits. We did. And we've got a, a photo shoot coming up. Now, see, that picture there was taken outdoors. You've got Cuban Pete and his girlfriend, Repeat. And there's Tampa Steve Peter. there. Yeah. Tampa Steve with his apron on. That was just before he started sampling yeah. all those Cuban sandwiches. So he still had a smile on his face in that shot there. Not afterwards. And hopefully uh, by next week, we'll maybe have some proofs ready. We can show you the proofs of Pepito's fine work. And we've seen some of his work. It's pretty excellent. Mm -hmm. By the way, Pepito, guys, is uh, the provider of our uh, Gift. Question of yep. the week. That's right. He's the pony's That's Tampa right. trivia. So, for those of you that are looking forward to winning something today, get ready. We're going to come at you in just a couple of minutes with Tony Zapponi's Tampa trivia question. Next week, what's happening next week on Thursday, June the 7th? Next week on June the 7th, we are going back to the city council to plead Why are you our speaking case. speaking so low? <laughs> oh, speak up, darling. Speak up so I'm they can hear speaking you. loud. Yeah, loud. Use that TV voice. To plead our case to change the signs. We're going to. Give it one more go, yep. and um, from La Settima to La Settima. It's going back as a confirmation, Correct. is that what it is? Well, what happened is yeah. the last meeting was with the CRA. The CRA is, uh, is, is the department that actually uh, approves of the funding to go ahead and change that sign. Well, mm -hmm. the city councilman voted five to one in favor of changing the sign, so we've got to go back now in front of city council. City council will once again hear arguments. Yeah. We'll be there in full uh, voice again. So those of you that are available, we'd love to have you joining us. Uh, that's next Thursday. June the 7th, not December 7th, as Mario said last week <laughs> at the right. close of the show. Don't ask me what I was thinking It would be way too long about. to wait. June the 30th, at the end of, well, tomorrow is June the 1st. June the 30th, don't forget, Rays versus the Tigers, and afterwards, Earth, Wind, oh. and Fire Hi, uh, will be entertaining us. Wait. I think we have four seats remaining, just four. Yeah. So those of you that are still looking to go, you still have a chance, and those of you that are looking to send in your checks, please, please do. Yeah. That. yeah, that's, that, that's really sold fast. out really quickly, as we mm -hmm. expected that it would. It's Earth, Wind, and Fire, after all. Now, tonight, and the race. tonight, what are we going to be talking about, guys? Real quick, let's give them a little heads up. Well, are, are you are you safe and sound right now? You look kind of look kind of dangerous. Well, out there. Well, there was a little wind blowing <laughs> earlier on because, as you can see, I was hunkering down there. The wind was howling. Things were flying past me. Quite dangerous. Well, tomorrow is the official start of hurricane season. Hurricane yeah. season runs from June first mm -hmm. through you know, November. Something. November. I'm not November sure. November 30th. Yeah. That's right. November. That's right. And sometimes because it's so hot here in this part of the world, mm -hmm. you can get a storm like we did last week earlier than, of course, yeah. the official start, and you can get a storm even later than November mm -hmm. 30th. But we do know that the peak of the hurricane season is one day of the year, and do you know what day that is, Steve? Is September 12th? September 10th, you're real close. close. Is it really? September 10th. I didn't know that. September 10th is the actual peak. That's when the, the season hits its highest point, yeah. and then, of course, things start to cool off in the Gulf, and I guess you could say that's a relative term, and in the mm -hmm. south, southern Atlantic. Yeah. But September 10th, we've got some great graphics and some photographs, some phone callers in just a little bit. Right. So get ready. That's our topic this week. We're celebrating all things Hurricane Week, sort of like Shark Week. That's yes. Right. And you know, growing up in Tampa, we all have hurricane memories. Of yes, course we, we do. do. And we're going to see some photos If you're a Tampa here. native and you grew up here, yeah. you remember Hurricane Donna. It's part you of our life. We're, you remember the 90s. You remember all the good stuff. Mm -hmm. We're in the past. Images are coming right up real quick, fast and furious. Now, on a personal note, I just want to throw out one thing. Uh, we talked about it in pre-production this week. Uh, 
you had me at hello, History Channel. You had me at hello. I want to say for the record, I'm, I'm glad so much that I was born in Nunez and neither a Hatfield or a McCoy, because if you guys got caught up in that Kevin Costner production on History Channel the last three nights, we uh, did. they basically told the story of the Hatfields and the McCoys, did a real good job of it. Tell you what, those were some brutal, brutal times. times. Yeah. And I don't know how anybody survived those times except that they had 15 and, and 16 children. Yeah. Because they needed them, right? Yeah. Not only to work. Everybody had to work. I don't know how you survived the winters back then, yeah. let alone. Everybody the slept feud, together. The blood, <laughs> tough life, so to speak. Uh, talk about the comment line real quick. Comment line. Our, our 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 comment line is open, currently, but it's only open currently if you're going to call that comment line. That's to let us know what you think about our show, and that's yes. to let us know after the show Leave a that comment. you couldn't get in, and you're sorry that you couldn't get in. And and if you give us a call on that comment line, we're going to go to our recorded calls in just a couple of minutes. We'll play those calls back in the coming What's week. happening? Are we getting some sales calls? or? Well, we're getting some great calls. Actually. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting, getting good calls. calls. From, from here, there, and from everywhere. Yeah. And we have some callers actually calling during the show to tell us their bolita number and to tell us <laughs> that they have the answer to the trivia question of the week. Which, which you can't do that. Which really apply because yeah. if you're going to win, you've got to call in. Now, yes. our question of the week this week brought to you by... Tony. Stamatakis. Oh, you're right. Yep. Stamatakis, Falji, <laughs> and Bonanno, because you know what? When I need somebody to look after mm -hmm. my affairs, I'm going to pick the three guys whose names are real difficult to pronounce. That's Stamatakis, <laughs> Falji, and Bonanno. Easy for you to Not say. Not that difficult yeah. to pronounce. Question of the week is, Stevie? I don't know the question of the week. Hurricanes? Oh, that's right. Hurricanes oh, yeah. or tornadoes? Which is your favorite disaster? Hur <laughs> no, 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 no. No, which Hur one are you more afraid of? Right. Yes. Right. Which one is, strikes more fear, right? Right. And, and we know for different reasons. They're both catastrophic. Yeah. They can both be catastrophic, but Have you hurricanes been in one? or tornadoes. Not a that's, tornado, but yeah. a, a couple hurricanes. So that's been in both. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of the week. So wow, look at that. We're 12 minutes into the show already. Amazing. We're off and running. Yeah, we're going to open up the phones in just a couple of minutes. But hey, before we get to that, before we get to that, we're going to ask. Uh, we met some wonderful people over there at uh, at the Cuban Sandwich Festival this last week. We're going to mention their names now. Sure it's did. Lou and Debbie Rummel, and they're out there watching us in, in Pasco, I think it's Pasco County, or in there Hernando County. I think Pasco. Pasco, Pasco Northern Pasco Spring County. Spring Hill, I think it's Spring Hill. That may be Hernando County, darling, okay. if I'm not, not mistaken. Sure. But anyway, anyway, this is yeah. this is dedicated to Lou and Debbie. Lou and Debbie, thank you so much thank for you. taking the time with us this past week. Great to meet We've you. We've got a little video we want to show you that was shot courtesy of Lou and Debbie Rummel. Do you right. have that video, Jeff? Enjoy this, guys. It's only going to last a minute. It's coming right at you. Hi, Tampa Native Show fans. Mario Nunez here alongside my broadcast partner, Steve Canella, a.k.a. Tampa Steve. And on this side, Sally Nunez, a.k.a. The 15 Man Girl. And we're here today in Centennial Park in Ybor City celebrating all things Cuban sandwich. Stevie, you've been doing some of the judging today. How you feeling? I'm very full right now, and I'm not going to eat for about three days. But I tell you what, it's been great, a great experience. I'm really enjoying it. There's uh, Bob Buckhorn, Jane Castor, Chief of Police. Uh, what, 40 City Council people are here. Mm -hmm. And the question is, what am I doing on the panel? Well, I tell you what, as a celebrity uh, taster, Steve was given the opportunity to come in here today and, and do a little taste testing. And he's doing a heck of a job. And on this side, darling, how have you been doing today? I've been doing fantastic. I got to taste a little myself. See, Steve snuck me a sandwich. Very nice. And I'm taking pictures of all the celebrities and the official people, the tasters and the judges. And it's just been great. We've been having a wonderful time meeting some brand new friends and at the same time getting a little B-roll for our show. So thanks to Lou and thanks to Debbie for letting us do this. And we'll be seeing you real soon on Thursday night, 7 o'clock, the Tampa Native Show. On behalf of Steve Canella, the 15-Minute Girl, I'm Mighty Nunez. Do it with me, guys. Ready? Salud and happy days. We love you, Tampa. Lou and Debbie, thank you so much thank for, you. for providing us with, uh, that was fun. with that video, as well some serious good information on how cameras we can uh, find and cameras stuff, and microphones yeah. and things like that. And we look forward to working with you guys. I know you're out there watching, so we look forward to working very with you technical. guys in the very, very near future. Lou, you know a lot of stuff. And, and Debbie's real sweet. She's a Tampa native as well, graduate of Tampa Bay Tech. She knows stuff, too. And works right downtown mm -hmm. at the uh, Hillsborough County um, Courthouse. Clerk's Office. Clerk's, Clerk's Office. office. Yeah. Thank you, yes. 15 Minute Girl. All right, before we get to our caller, because we see you out there, we caller, do. hang tight. We're going to do what we do each and every week, and we're going to get to this show real fast. We're going to say thank you to our sponsors, without whom... We, we would not be, be here. here. Ain't no Tampa Nation. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All and right. fans, too. I'll take the sponsor, Stevie. You take the personal you contributors, ladies go. and gentlemen, as we do each and every week. We want to say thank you to Alessi Bakery, Mr. Philip Alessi, La Unione Italiana. Thank you, Mr. Capitano. 
to Wright's Gourmet House, that wonderful eatery that's been there for the better part of 50 years, right there on Dale Mabry, south of Kennedy, to Stamatak Castalgia and Bonanno, as I mentioned earlier. Amarilli Sandwiches and more. Thank you, Juan Santayana, the Cacciatore brothers, Philip Cacciatore, Mr. PJ Testa, whose heart is as big as all outdoors and nobody cares for us more than PJ. PJ, thank you so much for your love and support. Costantino and company as well. Frank Costantino, South Tampa Chiropractic Clinic, Dr. Thomas Aguero, Housewife Bait Shop, Tony's a, Tony Ferroni, mm -hmm. the Col uh, Columbia Jobby, Florida Blood Services, the Colonnade. Boy, I get breathless because our list is getting long. It is long. And La Septima Cafe. Rumor has it, rumor has it, that <laughs> Ed Morris Cadillac and Caracolillo Coffee will be joining the family soon. Personal contributor, Stevie. That's a great rumor. We have uh, Frank Cueto, Ronnie Dorigo, Chefs Dave Del Rio and George Tamargo. Thank mm -hmm. you, guys. Henry and Raul Castillo. Phil and Carmen Nunez. Mike and Kathy White. Copeland and Stephanie More. And I talked to someone today from uh, Cold Storage Brewery really? in Tampa. Yeah, they uh, had nice. the old Cold Storage Sure, downtown. of course. And maybe, you never know, but we'd love to have them as a well, sponsor as well. Well, you know what? The list Welcome. is getting longer. Oh. There's plenty mm -hmm. of room here at the Tampa Native Show for more and more and more. Sponsors, we love them all. So listen, we're going to go to the phone call now because we've got them blinking, both of them blinking. They're I've ready. got a, a Tampa trivia question that I've got to get in. We're going to go to line four. four. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hi, it's Joe Beanie from Seminole, Florida. Hey, Joe, Joe. Beanie from Seminole, Florida. Go ahead and give that volume up there, Stevie. Hi, Joe. How are you? I'm doing well. Y'all guys look good. Thank you so much. Can you hear us okay? Absolutely perfect on there, the phone here. Better. Hear you. We hear you now as well because I got my finger on that volume button. <laughs> All right, Joe. Not clear. Before yeah. before we get into your hurricane story, let me read this real quick for those of you that are listening at home. Pay close attention. This is the Tony Zapponi Tampa trivia question brought to you brought by... Brought to you by Tony Peroni, Housewife Bake Shop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the question is very simple. On March 11th, 1993, a powerful storm with wind gusts of hurricane strength came through Tampa very suddenly with very little warning. What was its name? All right, Joe, tell us a, tell us a hurricane story and answer that question if you think you can. I don't, I don't remember that question. That's too new. I don't remember that. <laughs> 1993. Very good. Do you have a favorite hurricane story for us? I think the one that's probably going to, on everybody's mind, is probably Donovan in 60. That's the big yes. one. Well, we, we've got some images yes. of that coming up. We do. Yeah, because uh, we were just in our home there in North Tampa uh, only a year and a half when that uh, when that came by. And uh, that was uh, I mean, a big concrete house, brand new house. So we all got to stay in the, in the little bathroom and kind of Hunker down. Oh, that's that's our, our, first, our first hunker down <laughs> reference. Listen, if this was a drinking game tonight, we'd have to take a shot right now. But All right, we'll let's ring do the it. bell instead. Thank you for that hunker down reference, Don. We knew that was coming for you. Right, right. So that's the only thing. I, I know that it was, uh, you know, I was, pro I was only 10 years old. So mm -hmm. um, it was amazing at the time that uh, that, that came through. And uh, I mean, it, I guess for a little guy, it's pretty scary. But yes. uh, the of adults course. pretty well. Well, Joe. You know, I was only one year old when Donna hit, but I remember it as a child because it was talked about by my family for so many years yeah. after that. It was such a, a devastating hurricane. Uh, exactly. The next five years, they talked about it. So uh, it's almost like I remember the actual storm, but I don't. But I remember clearly Donna. Joe, should we put you down for your favorite number? Uh, yep, yeah, absolutely, number three. That would be number, number three. three for Joe Abini. <laughs> We're going to put three. that little note by Joe Abini. Number three, we're going to put Donna just because that's his hurricane storm. We're just going to... And hurricane or tornado, question of the week. Hurricane or tornado, which would you have feared more? Yeah, I think I, I fear more the tornado. I, I, Me too. Me too. A hurricane is, is a, uh, and nowadays, a hurricane is more predictable. And, uh, right. Uh, Tornado's just too yeah. damn indiscriminate. It comes out of nowhere. And they're scary. We've been it there. It doesn't care, because I was yeah. in, uh, over in, in Clearwater, well, Pinellas County, when a tornado hit, uh, I don't know, after Andrew hit Miami, then a tornado hit Pinellas. Uh, uh, three, a couple months later, and that tore our, half of our business out. Gone. Wow. Wow. So, we got you down for tornado question of the week. We, you didn't have an answer on the, on the Tony Zapponi Tampa trivia question, so we can't put that down, but we've got you down for number three, and we'll see you Sunday at uh, our favorite beach. What do you say? Keep the keep the yelling at me, number seven for Keith. Keith, number seven. Okay. okay, we got you down, three Thank and Keith. seven. Thank you. Say hello to Keith for us. I'll see you Sunday morning. See you, Joe. We're looking forward to it. You no, know, he's right. Those hurricanes, bye bye. You, can, you can track those hurricanes a week in advance. Probably. And yeah. that's probably what's most distressing about the tornado. That they're so they just come out of nowhere. They come out of nowhere, and, and of course, across the street, the house can be left totally alone. Your house can be blown to splinters. splinters. Those pictures, 
Jeffrey, those pictures that we showed just a couple of minutes ago, if we can go back to just one of them, the last one that you had just before this one, and I know things are going so fast. But look, this picture here was taken in 19... 1921? 21, 21, you're right. 1921. 1921. 1921. That's, that's Bayshore, I think, right? That's Bayshore. Yeah, that's right, right. right yeah. on the Bayshore. What's most interesting about this photograph, not only the, the devastation, obviously the people there that look distraught, forlorn, but, you know, Tampa has always been in the sort of the bullseye, if you will, mm -hmm. of all that tropical humidity and all that yeah. tropical activity. So, you know, back then they didn't have the forecasting of, uh, technology. Uh, the, the, the home structures themselves were built rather weakly, if you will, out of, out of wood. Yeah. So, you know, they were much, had much, much more of a devastating effect. But that's just kind of a little illustration of Tampa in the early days being, at that time, affected by hurricanes. No weather channel? <clears throat> No, yeah, weather, no, 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 no 24 hour news. Morning like no we Dennis have now. Phillips, uh, no right. double Doppler. Uh, <laughs> you know, ghost satellites hadn't been launched yes. yet. So we, we were just, we yeah. were at the mercy, really and truthfully, of looking at the sky. And, and I guess when your elbow started to hurt, you felt the barometric pressure changing. Yeah, you figured you something was going to happen. We had quite so, a few of those. Let's go to caller on line five. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, caller. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hi, this is Debbie Rummel. I'm calling Hi, from oh, Debbie. Debbie. Well, hi, Debbie Rummel from Spring how Hill. How great how are that you? you called in. Doing good. good it's good, good to hear from you. How, how's the reception there in Spring Hill? It's great. Lou good. and I are watching you on the Internet because we don't get you on the That's TV right. out right. here. And the picture's and good? Things are looking good. Oh, good. nice. Wow. Very nice. Listen, do you have a, a, a childhood memory of one of those nasty storms that we lived through when we were kids? I do. I don't know what the name of the hurricane was, but when I was... A little girl, I figured it was probably around 1965. I was living in Lutz on my the farm that my dad took care of, Mary Acres Farm. Okay. And this hurricane came through, and we had a, a big back porch, and we used to collect mm. Coke bottles, you know? Remember yes. the Coke bottles you had to turn in for the Yeah, the absolutely, refund? for the deposit. We had them all washed and laid out on the back porch. The hurricane came through and broke them all, and I went running outside and, and cut my foot and had to oh, go to the no. and get stitches. Oh, well, that's wow. a, that is definitely that's a vivid a memory. And that is, that is at the hallmark of what it is that we do here at the Tampa Native Show. That's because Bring back sharing memories. your memories has <laughs> never been that much fun, even when you cut your foot. Even hurricane <laughs> memories. <laughs> even hurricane memories. Well, 1965, I don't think that was Donna, though. No, that was no. 1960. It was Donna. 1965. And you know what? It's, gonna, it's on the tip of my tongue. Well, we Maybe our more. next caller will have that information. Listen, thank you and Lou again for that video, wonderful video. We look forward to working with you guys in, we in the near future. We certainly do. Doing some more things, fun things together. Give us your right. favorite, uh, I should say, your lucky Bolita drawing number between 1 and 75. Um, I think I'm going to pick 11. 11. Okay. 11. You Her have right. Tornado, darling. Which, which uh, storm do you fear the most? I would say tornadoes because they sneak up on you're right. Right, right. True. I, you know, it's, it's a loaded be, question. I don't yeah. think anybody's going to pick hurricane, it's be really, truthfully, although I can put in an argument for a hurricane. But uh, thank you so much, Debbie, for calling and for watching tonight. All righty, and thanks a lot. We enjoyed meeting you guys and look forward to working with you more in the future. Same Likewise. here. Likewise. Good here. times around the corner. Thanks, Debbie. Thank thanks, you. Debbie. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. That's good stuff. That was That's great. good stuff. Okay, well, listen, our question is still out there. Let's go oh, to our next caller. Yeah. Our question is still out there. I'll read it again if you'd like me to. Stevie? You got it. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. This is Steve. This is Mike Baluha calling from West Tampa. Hey, Mike Baluha, well, West Tampa. listen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, if I may say so, this is the great Mike Baluha calling from his abode in West Tampa. Mike, first time caller, long time watcher. <laughs> How are you, Papa? I'm, I'm very good today. I'm calling. I had intended to call because I wanted to share my favorite storm story. Great. Uh, my most special moment. Please. It pertains to the Tony Zapponi question, believe it or not. Oh, oh I know. Here we go. Here we go. Wait that. a minute. This not, could be I a double shot. It. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to take a. I'm going to take a wild shot, and I'll even give you the date because that's the day that my daughter was born. Oh. oh 1993. The No Name. You story. got it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, no more callers, please. I'm only saying that because we have a winner for our contest. Actually, congratulations. Actually, I knew Mikey, that's what it was. Mikey, congratulations. Yeah, you remember I, I that was because call and share that memory with you guys. Yes, say that that was my favorite memory. That storm, that particular storm, it came out of nowhere. Raina's birthday. That's when my beautiful daughter was born. Raina's birthday. There you go. And she's, she's, and that's a hurricane in itself. Hurricane. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you another ring for that one. Listen, I've got another question, and I'm going to read it. If you'll stick with me for a minute, let me read it to get it out there. Now, you can't answer because you've already won, but let me read the second part of this. I All didn't right. think anybody was going to get the no-name storm, but then again, 
I should have known better. Here's question number two provided again by Tony Zapponi and sponsored by... Tony Peroni, Housewife Bake Shop. The forces of Hurricane Donna zoomed through Tampa and surrounding area in 1960. It was a Category 5 and knocked out electricity to most of the city, and for some it was almost two weeks before power was restored. Sears and Roebuck did something very special for victims of the outages from this storm. What did they do? Hmm. Okay, there it is. Mike, you can't answer even if you do know, but listen. No Good question. Idea. Hurricane or tornado? Uh, neither of them scared me, man. I'm scared of a heart attack. Mike, is, head, <laughs> Mike is fearless. We're not gonna, and your favorite bullet, your lucky bullet number? Uh, number 18, that's for my wife. Number 18. 18, we'll get together with you and let you know what you want. Of course, you want a, a portrait courtesy of Pepito's Masterpiece Portraits. The man does fantastic work. We're going to see him on Saturday. We'll get that information to you. Uh, great answer, great job. Who knew? We didn't know. I didn't know. All right, bro. I knew. Mike, thanks for calling. Keep up the good work. Thank thanks. you so thanks, much. Bye-bye. That, that was the first Tony Zapponi question that I, that I knew, actually. Golly. Did you know that one? Yeah, I did. Oh, I did. So yeah. cool. No name storm. Name storm. Ladies and gentlemen. Because it no came out of nowhere. Storm. Hey, so by the way, those, those watching, uh, Mike Bluha is the, uh, the voice on our intro song and also the closing credits as well. And the creator of it. He's yeah. the composer. He's I remember composer. Tampa. Absolutely. Beautiful and job. It's a wonderful and song. a man whose generosity... Uh, we could hardly repay. Let me tell you, Mike, if we had to <laughs> pay you by true. the hour, Papa, we would have been in arrears already a long time ago. As we're soon just as we get started, rich, Mike. we will. We're just getting started, Mike. You stick with us. We'll get there together. All right, we've got another caller. Caller on two. line five, is it? Let's go to line five. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Mario, Steve, it's David Benito calling. Hey, David. Hey, David, correct? David Benito. Hi, David. Hey, David. How David. are you? How are you doing, guys? Good. 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 Thanks for calling. You. Yeah, I can hear you fine. Good. Uh, my memory would be, I think, I can't remember exactly, I think it was 84, 85, it was uh, Elena. Okay, okay, very and, uh, good. That was the first time that I remember having to evac, uh, you know, I lived on the island as, as I do now, but I, uh, that's the first time I remember having to be evacuated. And the island is always one of those places where, you know, you have a lot of precaution because, yeah. I mean, you're, you know, it's an island for number yeah. one. For number yeah. two, we know how low that area sits and... Uh, you know, you really don't, you can't mess around. I mean, people that are two, three miles inland can't mess around. You really can't mess around, David. Oh, no. And uh, what it was, you know, the technology back then wasn't as good as it was now. What I remember is they did in the middle of the night. I meant, you know, they ordered the evacuation like 12, like uh, 1 or 2 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now, you know, they do it, you know, like well before. But yeah, that's what I remember. I remember we went to my uh, a real good friend's house that lived on Fountain. Uh, off of McDill and uh, Parkland State, so. Excellent. I remember that. I also remember after, after the, it, we got the outer band, yes. and then driving down Bayshore, and on the water side, just seeing, it was so flooded, you could just see the top of the balustrade. Yeah, well, that's that's what we're doing here today. We're, we're, we're getting everybody Serious ready. Take us out of the shot real quick, Jeff, so that everybody can see. We're getting everybody ready. <laughs> Not, just just like Rare Earth did back in the, in the early 70s. Get ready, because here it comes. You know what? Uh, you know, we've dodged a bullet thus far, and, and, and it's just about time for something to, to pop up and rear its ugly head. So it would be in everybody's best interest to, uh, to, to make those preparations, man, now, because tomorrow starts the official start. Thank you for that, Jeff. You can bring us back in. Davian, tell us your lucky bullet number. Uh, 19. 19. 19. And hurricane or tornado, which do you fear more? Well, hurricane, I think, because of, you know, because of where I live and, you know, we... Uh, what what could happen where you know to the island and most of South Tampa in a hurricane? I, I you know yeah. I tend to agree with you. I mean mm -hmm. the difference between the hurricane and the Big tornado, difference. the tornado, the explosive, destructive power, uh, and and upon you quick like. But the hurricane man, it just wears you down. The wind comes first, yeah. mm -hmm. and then the rain comes, and it'll blow a shingle off, then it blows mm -hmm. the roof off, then it blows the house down, then, then it blows the, the house away. Then the electricity goes off. And you know we you total been, devastation. Uh, you know hunker down and all the all the tornado turns, but one my favorite one that's just come up the last few years is the Cone of Uncertainty. Oh, I we love, love it. That. We're going to talk about yeah. that in just a minute. We love the Cone And that's going to be the next T-shirt the Tampa natives are going to produce <laughs> because, listen, I live in we cone. live that, yes. in the Cone <laughs> of us. Uncertainty, and that's just an amazing, that's, that's something right. that they coined in the last couple of years. Yes. I love that. The Cone of Uncertainty, there's also another phrasing for it, the coin of... Not a coin. Uh, no, the, 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 the Cone of Probability? The Cone of Probability. Or Possibilities? The Cone of, yeah, Probability. Probability. It's the Cone of Probability, the Cone of Uncertainty, not to be confused with, Stevie, the cone of <laughs> silence. <laughs> All right. That's exactly what I think of. Not to be confused Davian. with Guess Mark. Davian, thanks for being one of our best fans. 
Okay, guys. Have a good night. Bye -bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. You know, David mentioned Hurricane Elena, and a lot of people may remember that that storm just kind of hung out in the Gulf for yeah. about 10 to 12 hours and just spun around. There was a, there was a high pressure front coming Woo. down, push it down. So it didn't know, we didn't know which way it was going to go, left, right, north, south, and it was a, it was a nail biter, really. For days. Yeah. For days we, on end. We dodged this, a bullet. This picture here is the remnants of, or the after That's effects great of Elena, the, the storm that we were just talking mm -hmm. about. This picture was sent to us by our Deep South correspondent, not to be confused with our Northeast, co Northeast uh, correspondent. correspondent. And this was sent to us by uh, Ricky T. Parnell in Curitiba, it's Brazil. A great picture. And he, he yeah. wants us to know. And that's some of the flooding. That's downtown that. Tampa. That's yeah. some of the flooding that we were talking about. So, yeah, Davian, I mean, we can't be messing around when the storms come. You better get out because the water comes and it can be very, very destructive. And nothing, I don't think nothing more destructive than the water, the storm yeah. surge itself, this because the wind will wear you out yeah. and eventually blow you away. The storm, as we saw with the tsunami in uh, Japan, right, it, right. it just lifts everything off the foundation and away it goes. They always say the storm surge is more, more devastating than the actual storm. And here come storm. the callers. Call. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. It's Tom from New York. Hey, hey North, we're just talking North about that guy. There's our Northeast yeah. correspondent right there. Hey, hey, right on cue. That's a, a Cuban sandwich, man. I could use one right now. Have man, you had one before? Lucky you. Lucky you. <laughs> well, I don't know if Steve felt that way Saturday evening. i got to yeah, be honest with you because he'd had his fill of Cuban sandwiches by then. But Every sort Hey, Tom, of have you ever been sandwich. in a hurricane? Good luck on June 7th with the uh, Thank you. Septima. Oh, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank we're going to be all right. You, yeah, listen, send one up for us, and we're going to be okay. Well, New York, it's are hurricanes. Gonna, are you going to be singing with the Earth, Wind, and Fire there, Mario? How about that last week? <laughs> he huh? will that was be not singing bad, right? Don't, in his seat. Tom, don't give him yeah. any ideas, yeah, okay? don't give me any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Bailey's job is secure. Do not okay? encourage I'm him. not going to give Philip Bailey any competition. He's got those high notes pretty secure. Hey, have you ever been in a hurricane, Tom? Uh, uh, well, we had remnants of one up right. here, but nothing huge, just, just a bunch of rain. Right. Now we get, we get I, I grew up with tornadoes, so... Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah that's right, Ohio boy, right? Up in the... Uh, mm -hmm. Tornadoes are kind of scary, but we just had, about like two days ago, we just had a uh, um, tornado warning, so we hunkered down. Wow. Well, you know, we're just starting out, man. I mean, the weather's just now starting to... You know, the, the mm -hmm. Gulf is just now starting to percolate. Oh, look, at that. look at that photo this right there. That's, photo. that's like Andrew right pictures. there, brother. And let me tell you something. Nothing more devastating than that storm. It, it absolutely decimated yeah. South Florida. I mean, the whole town of uh, uh, Homestead was completely uh, lifted off of its foundation and blown completely wow. away. And, and if you can see, that, that shot right there, it, it's almost the size, the eye is almost the size of Lake Opecho Okeechobee, easy for me to say. And it's just a little bit south of the lake mm -hmm. right there. But, man, that was a devastating storm. South Florida. <coughs> hey, Tom, we, we appreciate your call, as we always do here each week. Can you give us your lucky Bolita number? Uh, believe the number 42 and, and, and in the great words of the cone of silence, missed it by that much. <laughs> wow. Oh, Maxwell Smart. Let me tell you, thank you so much for that Get Smart reference. That's two Don Adams references tonight. I know. That's Tom, funny. thanks for calling, thanks, man. We'll see you next week. See you, Tom. All right. Bye-bye now. Hey, we got some fun facts, too, That's between the great. calls. I didn't, ask him, I didn't ask him hurricane or tornado, but I'm going to put know. him down for tornado. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Oh, well. Quick fun fact, and we'll get to that next call. Florida has a distinct title of being home to seven of the top ten costliest hurricanes. And they, they're in number. Nine, eight, and six were Francis, Hurricane Francis, Rita, and Ivan. Number five and four were Charlie and Wilma. Uh, hurricane Wilma. Numbers two and one, Andrew and Katrina. Because a lot of people forget yeah, that I remember Andrew. Katrina hit wow. Miami first and then moved up to uh, well, we New have, Orleans. Well, we have, I think, you know, we've, we've been showing the, the routes, and we showed Donna mm -hmm. a, a little bit earlier. Uh, that was in 1960. We showed that route. And that was almost a perfect storm. That's Katrina there. Uh, and, and talk about a perfect yeah, storm. Look at, look at the immensity that is that storm. It almost yes. covers the entire Gulf. It's perfectly east formed. To west. Yeah. It's perfectly formed. That's, that I eye mean, eye that, if, if, if Roy Leap were out there watching right now, and we, we hope that he is, yes. he would probably tell us that that was a perfectly formed storm and, and, and hence why it created such havoc, uh, bringing water and devastation. Mm -hmm. A lot of momentum. Yeah, throughout uh, uh, the whole area of New Orleans and, and um, and everything that is the mouth of the Mississippi there. Hey, let's can go you, to our next Can you call. believe all the calls tonight? No, they're coming hot and heavy, and we thought they might. Well, listen, and, and not, not just because we it's are the little topic. show that could, but this is a great show. Why wouldn't you want to be calling and talking they're, to us? They're storming in. Let's see who's on there. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, it's Angelo Rumor. Hey, Angelo. Hey, Angelo, how are you? Good, good. I saw him Saturday at the Cuban Sandwich Festival. Angelo, yeah. tell us something about a hurricane that you remember when you were a kid. Well, I remember Donna. Uh, we lived in Ybor City. And we had lost all our lights. And, of course, we, you know, had the kerosene lamps going and all that stuff. Mm. But 
But I remember uh, my mother and I looking out the window and living in Ybor City, all the uh, the roofs had uh, corrugated tin. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. And man, you should have seen the tin flying around. If somebody would have down the street, it would have been cut in half. By yeah, that. wow. that's scary. Wow. It just wow. peeled off like, like well, a Donna, Donna was a fierce, yeah. fierce storm, man. I think Severe. Donna was one of those storms that had like sustained 150 mile an hour winds for oh, yeah. hours and hours yeah. and hours. And, and the track of Donna took it all the way up the East Coast, the Atlantic seaboard, it, all the way to New York. I was but two, a little bit too young to, 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 to remember vividly the storm. But like Steve said, you remember the impact because for years they were talking about it. So every summer yeah. it would be Donna, 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 Donna until the next big storm came up. Mm -hmm. Right. I remember. Um, the storm that that young lady was talking about, right. 65, the only thing I could find was Hurricane Betsy. Oh. Betsy. Now, Betsy was 65. What I remember about Betsy remember real okay. quick Betsy. was, I, and I name. remember this yeah. vividly, going outside during Betsy when the eye wall passed because it was eerily calm and then going outside and looking around there were shingles thrown on the yard and trees were knocked down and whatever but it was quiet and then my mother calling me back into the house because come on in come on in because yeah. the back mm -hmm. end of the storm was coming up but how strange it was to go out in the middle of the storm well as the eye crossed over and it was just calm dead calm that's bizarre that's yeah. it is Kind of Angelo, we, we got other callers waiting, but listen, can we get your lucky bolita number? Yeah, 24. One thing that I want to say is that I think I fear a tornado uh, more than anything, but I think that there's more damage from hurricanes than there is from tornadoes. Good point. I think you're right, because it's, it's over a bigger area, and it's more sustained. There's the water damage as well. I mean, we'd have to mm -hmm. go to the insurance adjusters to, <laughs> to tell us the facts and figures the actuary on it, tables. But, uh, you know, with flooding and, Correct. Uh, and all mm -hmm. that stuff, too. Correct. That's a picture that's there that speaks Andrews. volume. That's Andrews, and, and that, that's, home, that's Homestead in Florida, and you can see there the total devastation. That's I mean, that's, that's basically just rubble. That's rubble. Stuff. Now, a tornado can't do that in that wide an area. It can certainly cut a swath through there, cut a path, but, I mean, that, that whole yeah. town was taken down to the foundation. That just goes to show you the destructive force. So that's scary. Hey, we're doing, we're doing our public service right here, uh, mm -hmm. letting everybody know, get ready, because here it comes. Angelo, thank you so much for calling. Good job. Bye-bye. We appreciate Thanks, it. Bye, Angela. Let me go to line four here and see who's on line four. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, this is Roy Lee. Roy Lee. Oh, excuse Roy me. Lee. Excuse me. Pardon me. Could you what speak into my honor. goodness, sir? Uh, you said you were? Roy Lee. Well, hi, Roy Lee. Lee. How are you? Oh, I'm doing calling? well. I've Thanks been enjoying calling. your program. What Good. a honor to have you call our show. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. Well, Roy, I, I'm going to be quiet for just a minute in reverence, and I want Roy Lee to tell our audience uh, a good hurricane story, maybe a, a, a preparedness thing that we need to be conscientious of, and, and just tell us a little bit about your experience here for 40 years calling storms in the Bay Area. Okay, Mario. Well, you know, I've been keeping track of the storms that you've already talked about uh, there this evening, but of course, uh, I think Donna in 1960 was a landmark storm for several reasons. Uh, first of all, there was no cable television back in 1960, and Channel 13 signal could be seen from coast to coast, as far north as Cross City and as far south as Bonita Springs. You know, back in those days, people had antennas and they could turn them and tune them in. So we had a very large viewing area. Secondly, it was the first major hurricane to hit a state since television really came of age. Wow, that's correct. So uh, Channel 13 in 1959, a year earlier, had put in weather radar. Consequently, Floridians were treated to the first radar pictures of a live hurricane coming through their viewing area. So it was a landmark storm for several reasons. Now, Donna was a Category 3 as it moved through our area. It was a Category 4 down in the Caribbean. It weakened a little bit. It came in over Everglades City. I went down there right after the storm. There were homes that had been there for 40, 50 years that were turned upside down. Wow. So the winds were probably about 125 to 130 miles an hour. I talked to a telephone operator the night of the hurricane, the last one that was out of Fort Myers. last operator called me and said, this is the last long-distance line that we have. We just wanted you to know that the storm mm -hmm. passed here. It was pretty intense. So we had a firsthand report from the telephone company down in Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. For our part of the neck of the woods of the Bay Area, the winds got up to about 75 miles an hour, but they were from the north. You could almost walk across Tampa Bay. The oh water God. was completely drained out because the winds just got up and pushed them out. 
by contrast, you can see now how dangerous that storm would have been if it had passed just way. offshore. Yeah. Yes. It would have piled the water in. We might have had tides in downtown Tampa of up to 15 feet above normal. Wow. So the Donna Center, the eye, passed really over Polk County. We had it on radar, an excellent picture as it passed us. Our transmitter, which was in Riverview, lost a portion of its roof, and we were forced to go off the air because the water, water from the rain was pouring in on our transmitter. But we were back on the air by dawn the next morning. But meantime, the hurricane moved on off and back out into the Atlantic. So 1960, Donna was a landmark storm for all of those reasons and really uh, gave us a treat on radar to be able to see the eye as it came up over Fort Myers, moved across the center of our viewing area, and out over, over the Daytona Beach area. So that was my uh, main story. Now, I, I, I also served during Elena. In fact, we were on the air continuously for about 36 hours during Elena. And the reason that the warning was short on Elena is because when we went, this was a Labor Day holiday, first of all. Mm -hmm. But first of all, that storm moved uh, toward, actually was scheduled to go on up towards uh, Louisiana, New Orleans. But uh, the upper air currents changed, and it stalled and then began to move almost due east back towards the state. So hurricane warnings went up from the Bay Area northward about uh, 10 o'clock at night. We were on as I say, for about 36 hours continuously mm. because it just stalled and waited and there were many people in shelters and they grew tired of sitting in shelters because basically the weather wasn't all that bad. The tides were up yeah. because the winds were from the southwest, like that picture behind you right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. But uh, the winds were not all that bad and the sun was out. So a lot of people were wondering why they couldn't get back into their homes because they had been in there for over a day and a half and they're we're really tired of sitting it out. Well, that was the reason. It was just poised there waiting, and we didn't know for yeah. 36 hours exactly what balance of the atmosphere was going to move it on off. Right. Uh, one final point, uh, Mario, on the storm of March of 93, mm -hmm. that was not a tropical uh, disturbance. That was a major upper-level disturbance that moved across. Uh, you called it the no-name storm of the of uh, that year, but it was also known as a superstorm in some parts of the United States and other parts it called it a great blizzard up through the northeast. Oh, that's right, that's right. That was that's a right. huge that's right. wall line that came across that's with right. very intense lightning that's right. and came through our area about midnight. We were on the air issuing warnings early in that day. We uh, did commercial work for Tampa Electric and others back in those days and had warned Tampa Electric that this storm was on the way because the computer models picked it up quite well and we were able to know that it was going to be something extremely violent and uh, out of the ordinary when it came through and it served to be that way too. Hmm. I don't want to talk too much here so if you've got some questions let oh, me it's have It's great well, to hear your great. voice. Here's a question, uh, uh, more like a comment on behalf of the panel here. First of all, what a privilege it is to have you on the yeah. phone Absolutely. with us. Uh, secondly, we did a show two, three weeks ago now on uh, Big 13, mm -hmm. uh, of which you were featured in the show. Um, we would like to make an impassioned plea to Mr. Roy Leap that if it's, uh, if it's within his reach, uh, we would love to have you at some point come in here and do the show with us and have our callers be able to call in and talk to you directly. But we, wanna, we don't want to use that, that wild card too early. We'd like to wait until maybe there's something happening meteorologically speaking, that we can get you in here and you can talk us through that phenomenon. I just know, Roy, that I was born in 1958. Steve was born in 1959. The 15-minute girl, well, we won't say. A uh, little earlier than A that. little earlier, but we all grew up with yes, you did. here in Tampa, yes. watching you on Big 13. And, well, thanks uh, a lot. For those, for those wonderful years, you taught us so much. Yes. Last, yeah. When we did the show on Big 13 a couple of weeks ago, we hadn't talked about it in pre-production. I turned to Stevie and I told him, I said, you know, Roy Lee, uh, winner of the AMS, and I stopped. Seal of approval. And he finished it for me, seal of <laughs> approval, because that's what we heard every night over yeah. our dinner table for all of our lives. Yes. So on behalf of the Tampa Native Show, thank you so much. What a privilege it's been to have you call us. And uh, will you come do the show if it's, if it's uh, something you might be able to do? Well, I appreciate the comments and the invitation, Mario. Uh, I uh, still do some consulting work, so sometimes when storms approach the state, oh. I need to be heard. You need to be available. Yeah. Mm -hmm. May not be able to leave my any, office at any that time. Anytime Roy Leaf wants to come do the you want to you, right. and uh, I appreciate all the comments that have come in from your viewers. I also did 
play back that program on May 17th. Oh, oh good. I enjoyed oh, good. seeing my colleagues on there. Well, That's great. That's we, great. We enjoyed we, it. We, are, yeah. we couldn't be any happier. Anytime Roy Leap wants to come do the Tampa Native show, Absolutely. he's yeah. welcome. And we move everybody off the schedule to accommodate <laughs> you, Roy. Okay, I appreciate it a lot. Bye-bye. Here's a salute and happy days. Thank you so much Thank for, you, Roy. for all those years. Thank you. Thanks, Roy. Bye. You know, I, I have Ladies to say, and gentlemen, the great Roy Lee. How about that? Was, that? That was awesome. I have to say, it's almost like he was family because he I was know. in our living room yeah. for 40 years, yeah. and he was uh, consistent and accurate Nobody on weather, weather, weather forecasting, yeah. and we trusted him completely. Yeah. No, I, I mean, don't. if he said there's 30% chance of rain tomorrow, we would plan around that. Of course. You know? Of course. And his voice sounds as good as oh, it is. I was going to say, it, exactly. it hasn't, it's, it's, it hasn't changed a bit. Like, you know what I mean? He's just strong and is, is wonderful. Thank wonderful you, Roy. To hear your voice. Thank you so much, Roy. Well, listen, we've got about 15 minutes. We better minutes. get I've got moving, moving, moving. We, yeah, moving. Me too, me too. Um, let me get to real quick, uh, darling, the 15-minute girl special yes. announcement, the uh, announcement brought to you by South Tampa Chiropractic Clinic, yes. uh, Dr. Thomas Aguero, doctor yes. in residence. <laughs> Go ahead, darling. And the announcement is that, uh, again, we will be on June 7th, not December 7th, <laughs> like somebody said. That would be me. For a holiday. In front of the city council, again, to plead our case for the changing of La Setima to La Septima. So we encourage everyone to come out, help Very us out. Very good. Very good. Thank you, darling. Thank you for that. We'll get to our Bolita drawing in just a couple of minutes. We want to get a couple more callers in before we do that. And do not let me get sign off the air, guys. Do not let me sign off the air. We've got our comment line call. Oh, we have to show that. We or, still oh have my gosh. It's amazing. Yeah. So hang in there for that. Let's go to line five. See who's on line five. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. This is Carmen Nunez from South Tampa. I know well, you. Hello, Carmen. Carmen Nunez from South Tampa. How are you? <laughs> Talk to us right here on the phone. Go ahead. Don't, don't wait for the response on the TV. It'll kind of throw you yeah. off. So All mute, right. mute your TV and talk to us on the phone. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. This is Carmen Nunez from South Tampa. We've established right. that. Go right ahead, Mom. Everybody knows it's you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I want to talk about those those hurricanes that I've lived through. Okay, go. I uh, We lived through Donna. One. Uh, I remember you were just a little boy, a toddler. A toddler. Two. And you and your brothers had a wonderful time because we had to hunker up in the living room. We put the mattresses on the floor. Wow. Dad could sleep that night, and all I could do was watch out the window and see the shingles <laughs> flying off the roof. <laughs> but uh, that was Donna. And then during Elena, uh, your father was sick with hepatitis. Doctor had ordered complete bed rest and nothing but bed rest. We had to we had to evacuate in the middle of the night. Wow! And uh, we yeah. went to a friend's house who lived about two miles down the road from us, mm -hmm. thinking that that was a safer place. And came back to the house the next day. There was more more water on her street than there wow. was on oh, ours. Wow! We wow! Just wow. Stayed home. How ironic! <laughs> Well, great listen, stories. We, great we're, stories. we're winding, winding it down real fast here. We've got some yeah. business to take care of. You and I can continue this conversation over over the coffee over a coffee break. You know what? I've got to say something. Carmen exactly, just came over. Exactly. Exactly. But I had been with you so long, I just didn't want to hang up and not to. Uh, ask okay. I appreciate we that. Steve got something. For, Steve got something for you. Carmen, you just coined a new phrase. Instead of hunker down, you came up with hunker up. Yeah, I like, I that. like that. That's I great. Like that. Hunker, hunker up <laughs> is not a bad thing. <laughs> hunker out. Yeah, or hunker out. Either one. Carmen. Hey, we need your Belita number. Uh, 45. 45. Okay. 45. It is hurricane or tornado. Which do you fear the most? Tornado. Very yeah. good. Thank you so much, Carmen. We appreciate your call. To prepare for a tornado. Yeah. Oh. Bye, Carmen. Bye, Bye, Carmen. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Grim. Can I say that? Thanks, Mom. That was my mom. <laughs> All right, listen, we've got another caller on line four. As soon as we dispatch this caller, we're going to get okay. to, we're going to play our uh, comment we've line calls. Because we have to do that. Those are fun. And then we'll get to our Bolita drawing. We've got about 10 minutes to go. Stevie. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Uh, my name is David from Riverview. I know hey, you. There he is. David, David from, from Riverview. Riverview. How are you? Good, good. I, I got to tell you real quick because I know you're running out of time. I said, I lived in Fort Lauderdale when Andrew came through. Okay. Moved to Lakeland when Francis and, and Charles came through. Okay. So I'm just having a ball. I don't know where to move. <laughs> you don't know which way to go. Yeah. You, listen, we need, to, we need to ask Roy Leaf the next time the, the, the next storm comes through, yeah, which way you shouldn't go, yeah. you know? 
Remember when it was... Fo don't follow me to Titusville. No, 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 no. It was Charlie <laughs> that turned 60 miles before it hit the, the mouth of the bay, and everybody evacuated from to Tampa to Orlando. To Orlando. Yeah. And, and they had then to Charlie went directly yep. before Orlando. And then they had to come back. Yeah, that, that's pretty good stuff. Listen, we're just getting started with hurricane season, man. So it's, it, I know we're making light of it tonight, and we're sharing some funny stories. But it's really serious business. So but we're not going to have any this year. Everybody take good care <laughs> out there, including down there, my friends in Riverview. Would you do that for us, Dave? Do the best I can. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Listen, Thanks, give us Dave. your lucky Bolita number. We're going to have a drawing yes. here in a minute. All right. I want to go with my daughter's age 30. 30. Okay. Very good. And which do you fear most, hurricanes or tornadoes? Well, we know. Hurricanes I can see coming, tornadoes I can't. Yeah, that's tornadoes. kind of a loaded question. Hey, David, thank you so much for calling, man. We appreciate it. Whenever we get the Northeast correspondent and David from Riverview to call on the same night, it's a great that's night. A good night for us. Thank you, brother. Thanks. You know, thank I, you very much for everything. You bet. I thought, bye -bye he was, now. I thought he was going to say hurricanes because he's been chased by hurricanes. Oh, no, no, that's like crazy. Dog's chasing you down the street. Okay, now, before yeah. we get off the air, you promise, I promise you guys we're going to play these callers. Callers, our comment line, thank you so much for having that graphic up there. There's our director on the <laughs> ball. 813-920-2508. For those of you that couldn't get in tonight and want to share your hurricane story, please call that number anytime and share your story. The briefer you can make the message, is that a word, the briefer? More brief. The more brief you can make that message, the better chances you are that we can share right. it here. Yeah. Now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is, these are the calls that we received between last, last week. week's show on the brewery and tonight. Enjoy this. Jimmy, Jimmy Durante. Durante. Wow, that's kind of scary. Hi, Mario. Even 15 Minute Girl. This is Eric Cuff. I wanted to call and uh, congratulate you on such a great show for the uh, Big 13 Slew with Mike Clark three weeks ago. It was uh, really good to see the uh, Big 13 history, and you guys just brought out all the charm uh, with the show. As being a formal, excuse me, former Big 13 alum myself, you guys did a great job. It's great to see Mike on the air, and thank you for sharing all the picks. Also, with this past week's show, the brewery. Uh, that was also some other great memories. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much for showing us all about Tampa and the history that it holds. Thank you. Five. Great call. Yeah, Mario, Steve. Another great show. Love you guys. PJ Testa. See you soon, my man. Bye. PJ Testa. Thank you, PJ. We love him. Five. Hi, this is Cheryl. I was calling in to the comment line because I knew the answer to the train. Question, 9600785. That was Cheryl. Seven, oh. What was that? <laughs> and we don't know who that was. You know who that <laughs> I have an idea. I don't know, but I have an idea too. Yeah. But they didn't reveal themselves. So that's our that's comment line, ladies and gentlemen. So please feel free to utilize that. We got about four minutes to go, Stevie. We're wrapping this show up real it's quickly. Going fast. Darling, get, get the bolita ball. If you'll shake those up, and if you'll show our, uh, if you'll hand it to me, darling. I'll, do you have the shirt with you? Do yes. You have the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. You hand it over here. If you'll bring up my camera, guys. Listen, this past week on Monday, the 15-minute girl and myself went down to Florida Blood Services and donated a whole blood. Whole oh, shirt. Is just as good. Um, on Memorial Day, and that was our contribution in honor of the troops, and and we we. Uh, we made our contribution to Florida Blood Services. We, we want to give this shirt away in honor. It's, it's really cool. It's a it really cool shirt. Operation Blood Donation. Dog tags. Yep, with dog I, tags. I like that. And it shows the, the word hero there. Really mm -hmm. nice. So this is going to go to one lucky winner today. Want Let's me to go. get that? Well, this, this Belita drawing brought to you by Constantino & Company Real, Real Estate, Fran Constantino uh, Realtor. La Reina de la Septima. Okay. There we go. Let me see if I can draw the number. Okay, I got it right here. Darling, are you ready? I are ready. Is that 99? No, it can't be. No, I'll turn it's it upside over. down. It's 66. 66. Oh Closest to without going oh, wait. over. You might pull it again. That's all right, though. Let's you want to pull again. No, no, you should have something. There's got to be. It can't be. Do we? 66? Closest to. Anything 45? 45. I thought so. Which would be? Carmen. Carmen Nunez. Carmen, there you congratulations, are. Carmen, Carmen. Nunez, Mom. She's hunkered Great up. Great job. She's hunkered up She's right hunkered now. up, and we're going to bring you this hero shirt so you can have this at home while you're hunkered up. Because you're a hero. <laughs> there you go. Um, no, one more, is that it? No, that's it. That's it okay. Now listen, we also have a couple of quick there announcements. I'm going to go fast, guys. Don't let me run out of time. Technical directing staff. Steve, you want to invite people to go to our website, please. Absolutely. Uh, TampaNativeShow.com. Be sure to click on Visit Our Sponsors. 
And also, let's take a look at this. Yeah. Go next keep, week. Talk, yeah. talk about next our website week. real quick. Oh, well, definitely. Uh, we've made some new changes to the site. Check it out. Um, current, current videos are at the bottom of the front page. You'll see it. Just click on the link. Uh, but please check out our sponsors. Um, click on their links as well and go to their websites and, and, and see what they have. Steve has done an amazing job with that website, and you would honor Steve greatly by going to our website and <laughs> checking it out. Tampa and also Native visiting our sponsors. Show. Right. Com. Good point. And Good point. And check out our sponsors. Room. Now, right up there, you see uh, the book that I'm holding in my hand. What is he holding in his hand, Johnny? Vintage signs, vintage Tampa signs, and storefronts. That's Next right. week's guest will be Johnny Sinchet, ladies and gentlemen, our big, one of our biggest fans. And I say that about a lot of people, don't I? Oh, yeah. But this we is actually Johnny. very, very true because Mr. Sinchet, he loves us, and we love him. Yes, we We do. actually made the forward to, the, to his book, which is kind of cool. That was awesome. He's going to be here with us next week. We're going to talk about his new book, talk about his book signing. And some really cool photos. And some really cool photos. We've already got, got a book signing coming up this week, and we'll have that information on Facebook. So be on the lookout for that. Anybody who wants a bumper sticker, TampaNativeShow.com. Sharing your memories has never been this much fun. If you want a bumper sticker, there's Roy Leap. Gosh, there he I is. wish we had that picture there up there when he was talking he was to us dashing. earlier. He was a dashing. Show so at TampaNatives.com. That's mm -hmm. show at TampaNatives.com. We'll send you a free bumper sticker. Roy, th that's the Roy that I remember. That's Roy circa 1977. Yeah. Look at you, Roy. You look terrific. And I bet he could still do a heck of a weather cast right oh, now. He sounds, he like sounds the same. Well, Johnny doing consulting. will be with us next week. We gave away our shirt on the Bolita drawing. Ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and give you the answer to that second question. The forces of Hurricane Donna Zoop about a minute ago. Yeah. I can't, I'll give you the answer. The giant retail, what the giant retailer did, Sears, was they offered dry ice and ice to all of their, oh, to anybody. Oh, very nice. That. Because they, they, they figured that they, as, as Tony Zappone explained it to me today, it was easier for them to recover, to repay, to pay for the ice and the dry ice than it was for them to pay for the refrigerators and the freezers, which had a guarantee uh, against oh, yeah. default. Right, right. So okay. anyway, 30 seconds to go. Oh, My goodness, where did the time wow. go today? Did we forget they anything? Bye-bye. You know I don't what? I think so. Be sure, we ladies and gentlemen, did. that if you want to go with us on the 30th, get your checks in now. We've got about four seats remaining four for seats. the uh, Rays versus the Tigers and the Fire Fire concert afterwards. Mm -hmm. Guys, what a great show, what? huh? Really good. 60 be, uh, minutes is not enough. Highlight of the show, Roy Lee. Roy Lee, yes. thank you so much, Mr. Lee, for calling us once again. Um, hunk, hunker down, guys, on behalf of the let's, Tampa Native Show, Steve it. and Sally. Salute. Salute and, and happy, happy days. days. We love you, Tampa, and we'll see you next see week. See you next week. Bye. Yes, we do. Back when we were younger And everything seemed new We used to have a lot of fun Yes we did No matter what we do Sleepy days, long summer nights Going anywhere we please With love that I could call my own Love that I've always known The city that I call my home A home from which I never roamed this love affair was meant to be I love her and she loves me I remember Tampa Oh, she remembers me She remembers me Home of the Tampa Native Show.